The dust has barely settled. The M4 chips have only just started making their way into the hands of users, and the reviews are still fresh. Yet, the tech world never sleeps. The attention of enthusiasts, analysts, and fans has already shifted violently toward what comes next. Everyone is talking about the next generation. Everyone is asking about the M5 Apple Silicon. This isn't just impatient speculation. It is happening because the Mac Mini lineup has finally become the fan favorite we always wanted it to be. It is the perfect blend of compact design and high-performance desktop computing. But if you just bought an M4, or if you're thinking about buying one, you need to hear what is coming next. The excitement right now is very real. The Mac Mini represents Apple's most unique combination. It gives you power, it gives you portability, and most importantly, it gives you cost-effectiveness. It offers a sleek desktop solution without the massive bulk of a full-tower PC and without the scary premium price tag of a Mac Studio. We have to remember that back in late 2024, Apple finally refreshed the Mac Mini after nearly 15 years of using the same old incremental designs. The older Mac Mini look had become dated. It was relying heavily on nostalgia rather than modern aesthetics or practical improvements. Apple boldly shifted. They moved to a sleek, studio-style design. It immediately earned comparisons to a Mini Mac Studio because of those clean lines, the tiny footprint, and that professional appeal. This new design was praised instantly. It is compact, lightweight, and highly functional. It became the ideal machine for creative professionals, casual users, and even gamers who wanted a desktop solution that didn't monopolize their entire desk space. The M4 Mac Mini lineup introduced us to a base model at $599. It featured a 10-core CPU, a 10-core GPU, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. The M4 Pro variant upped the ante significantly with 24 gigabytes of RAM. Connectivity was great too, with Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI, and 10 gigabit USB 3 speeds. But it wasn't perfect. We have to address the elephant in the room. Apple decided to place the power button on the bottom of the unit. This was criticized heavily. It forces you to lift the device every time you want to turn it on. It is a minor design quirk, but an annoying one. Now, the big question circulating among every industry watcher is simple. Will Apple include the M5 and M5 Pro chips in the next Mac Mini, or will they skip it? Recent leaks and reports indicate that production for the M5, M5 Pro, and even M5 Max chips is already underway. We know that historically, Apple has sometimes skipped intermediate generations in the Mac Mini lineup. For instance, they skipped the M3 altogether in the Mini, similar to how they handled the iMac M2 rollout. However, current speculation gives a roughly 70 to 30 probability that the Mac Mini will receive the M5 chip. This makes it highly likely that desktop users will see a major performance jump in the next iteration. Let's talk about that performance. Performance-wise, the M5 is expected to retain the same 10-core CPU configuration for the base model. This makes sense because the M4 already provided a significant uplift over previous generations. Instead of just adding more CPU cores, Apple may focus on enhancing the GPU capabilities. We are looking at potentially increasing base GPU cores from 10 to 12. This provides a noticeable improvement for graphics-intensive tasks. If you do video editing, 3D rendering, or gaming, this is where you'll feel the difference. The M5 Pro could see even more. We might see two additional CPU cores with GPU cores expanding from 16 to 18, all while maintaining the same 24GB RAM configuration. Speaking of RAM, for now, Apple doesn't appear to be increasing RAM across the board. This remains a sticking point for many of us. Many competitors now offer 512 gigabytes of storage and higher RAM configurations even in budget mini PCs. However, there is some good news regarding storage. Improvements are expected. There is cautious optimism that the M5 base model could finally start at 512 gigabytes of storage. The M5 Pro might jump to one terabyte. This would finally bring Apple closer to parity with competing desktop PCs. For Apple enthusiasts, 
This could mean less reliance on external drives, faster file transfers, and improved overall workflow efficiency. This is key for professionals working with high-resolution video or large data sets. So, when can we actually buy this thing? According to analyst Ming-Chi Kuo and other Apple insiders, the first device to feature the M5 chip might actually be a new iPad Pro entering mass production in late 2025. This is important. While this doesn't rule out its arrival in the Mac Mini lineup shortly after, it suggests Apple's typical rollout strategy. They introduce chips in mobile devices like iPads or MacBooks first, and then bring them to desktops. Therefore, we should not expect an M5 Mac Mini launch during the summer of 2025. A late-year release around November 2025 is feasible. There is also the possibility of an early 2026 launch in January or February if Apple sticks to its production cadence. The best part about the Mac Mini has always been the price. Pricing for the M5 Mac Mini is expected to remain consistent with the M4 lineup. We expect the base model to sit at $599 and the M5 Pro starting at $1,399. This ensures Apple maintains its value for performance proposition. It makes the Mac Mini an accessible entry point into Apple Silicon desktops while still catering to professional users. From a connectivity standpoint, the M5 Mac Mini is expected to retain and potentially enhance Thunderbolt ports, USB-C, HDMI, and Ethernet options. Users can anticipate faster data transfer speeds and improved external display support. The design philosophy hasn't drastically changed since the recent refresh, but Apple could make minor tweaks. We might see changes to ventilation, internal cooling, and weight distribution to accommodate the higher-performing M5 chips without compromising that compact footprint we love. Apple's engineering teams are known for squeezing impressive performance into small form factors, and the M5 Mac Mini could be another testament to that. Looking at the bigger picture, the M5 Mac Mini represents more than just incremental hardware improvements. It is a signal of Apple's broader strategy in desktop computing. It is about AI integration and performance-focused innovation. By combining the M5 chip's power efficiency, GPU enhancements, and AI acceleration capabilities, Apple could make the Mac Mini a viable solution for creatives and developers who previously leaned on larger, more expensive machines. In summary, while the M4 Mac Mini brought welcome design and performance upgrades, the M5 iteration promises meaningful improvements. We are looking at better GPU performance, potentially better storage capacity, and overall computing efficiency. Users should watch for late 2025 announcements. The combination of affordable pricing, professional-grade performance, and future-proof hardware ensures the Mac Mini continues to be a cornerstone of Apple's lineup. It bridges the gap between compact design and high-end performance. It is potentially redefining what a desktop computer can achieve in the Apple ecosystem. If you enjoyed this breakdown and are excited about the future of the Mac Mini, please subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your tech-loving friends and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest Apple leaks. Thanks for watching.